joining us now to talk about what we just saw all the way from Poland is Tomasz Kasilewicz of 11-Bit Studios. Welcome to the PC Gaming Show and thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much, hello. Okay, there is a lot to unpack there. We got clones, we got this huge wheel. Tell us, what did we just see? Well, first of all, these guys were not exactly the clones. We saw Jan, our main character, who's traveling with a group of the Alters, who are the alternative versions of the same person. And they are going through this distant alien planet uh, in their mobile base, which was the wheel you saw at the end. So what's the player's goal as they're progressing through the story? So you are a space builder stranded on this distant planet and your goal is to survive and find a way back home. But the thing is, in order to do so, you need to create those altars as each one of them have different set of skills and character traits. So these are things necessary for your survival and finding a way back home. So from the trailer, tonally this could be a horror, a thriller, a mystery. What should players expect? Actually, there are bits of everything you mentioned. Like there is this mystery as we're looking deep into the soul of the character, but what you find there can also be pretty scary. So there are those bits of psychological horror and drama, but then on top of it, we have this quite thick layer of surreality. I mean, how surreal would it be to one day, you know, wake up next to a little different alternative version of your very self. Now, there's a quote that you shared with me earlier, that man cannot remake himself without suffering, for he is both the marble and the sculptor. How does this quote relate to the story? So this quote, it relates directly to the main theme of our game. We as people, we are shaping ourselves every single day with every single decision that we are making. This process, the whole process of becoming who we are, it can be quite painful at times. But in our game, Jan, the main character, he has this unique possibility of not only shaping himself, but also reshaping himself a numerous times with every single altar that he is creating. Do you see this as more of a classic sci-fi story, something like a Ray Bradbury work, or is it something more contemporary? Well, it is very classic sci-fi in a way that we are taking a relatable topic and we are using the sci-fi theme, we are using the sci-fi setting to look at it through, like, through the magnifying lenses. But then when we are choosing the tools, this is a very contemporary game and we are taking advantage of what video games are as a medium. So we are using tools like systematic design and non-linearity in order to put the players in the middle of the experience and in the end allow them to create their own stories inside the game. I wanted to ask a little bit about the relationship of your previous titles to the altars, whether there's any narrative or themes or even just influence that those games had on this one. Well, the altars is purely a hundred percent our game, 11-bit studios game, and it's created in line with our meaningful entertainment philosophy. So it's a game we hope that it will make you think even after you stop playing it. This war of mine was this first huge milestone. It, it paved the way for all the future titles. And with Frostpunk, it was taken to another level with the strong focus on the emergent narrative. And now with the altars, we want to follow that path but we also really want to push the boundaries even further and expand on how we approach meaningful topics inside the design of our games. 